Alrighty, getting ready to install the red LEDs on the top of the smoke deck. Here's the little perf board circuit that I made. Um, I set it up with some terminal boards. This is the plus and minus 12 volts. This goes up to the resistors and back to the resistors and then back to ground. Uh, it has the 555 and the circuit. I know it's not the most elegant, whatever. Again, I'm not, I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just showing you what I did. Um, I'll try to show the circuit somehow. I don't know how, how well that'll work out, but it's all perfed up. I put it on standoff, so I'm going to mount this underneath the layout. And all I got to do is run the 12 volts in. Um, the three LEDs, I'll, I'll solder together to two lead wires and bring them down. The two lead wires go here, boom, and you're done. And then you turn it on and flash it away. So for the flashing, if I turn it on. And I'm not sure how well, I don't know if this will show any better if I turn the lights off, but I like it. I like the flash rate. I like how bright they are. I think the nano LEDs are about the right size. Eh, I don't know. I just think the Picos would be too small. The chips would be too big. So I'm, I'm going with these. Again, I think it looks right. I like the way they're flashing together. There were some comments before that they've seen them flash differently. That's fine. I mean, do whatever you want to do. But for me, what I want to do is I want to do this. So I'm going to get it soldered up. Get the leads dropped. I do have to figure out now exactly how I want to get them installed around here so they look okay. Because, again, I have to, you know, do something because the darn thing's all together. But I'll, I'll noodle around and figure out something. Get the wires down and then uh, get my little perf board mounted, wire it up, and here we go. So that's how I'm going to do it. Like I said, it's a simple 555 circuit. I know that capacitor, it slipped when I was trying to solder it. <laughs> it doesn't, looks a little goofy, but that's really all it is. It's a 100 microfarad capacitor. It's a 1K resistor for R3, which is the one over here. It's a couple jumpers to get some terminals together and basically it's a combination of an R1 and an R2 that set the flash rate. It's basically a voltage divider. Now again I have two as the R2 value because I didn't have the 1.2 meg as one resistor. I had two so they're, they're just wired in series to give me right about 1.2 meg. So you wouldn't have to have two there. I just did because they were in my box and I used them. So that's that. So let's get this thing uh, hopefully installed in the stack and on the layout. Alright, here's what I did. I got them in and I got the top painted to kind of hide the <laughs> the way I put them in. What I did is I cut little slots. There's three of them. Kind of, you know, each at a at the right angle away from each other. And I cut a little slot with a razor saw just to bring the wires in. And I fit everything down. Now this is because I wouldn't do it this way, I think, the, the next time if I had the smokestack apart, because you could do a lot more with it before it's glued up. Then I used some LED wax to hold them in, and then I came by and painted it a dark color to kind of hide that. That Again, that's because it was glued together, so I had limited ability to drill holes, feed wires, etc., etc. So I think it's fine. I like Again, I like the flash rate. I like the brightness. I like uh, the size that they look to me like reasonable size warning lights for the smokestack. If I was going to do it differently, I might even go ahead because even these, these are um, I think 6 to 12 volt, they have a resistor on them so that limits the hole you can drill even if it's open. You, you want to feed the, what I'd like to do is feed the real tiny wires through and then secure the LED without having to come over the top which I did here. So my, my consideration would be just by pure, I don't know if Evan Design sells them or not, but just pure LEDs. No resistors, no rectifiers, no nothing. Just a nice tiny wire. Have it all apart, drill the holes. You can bring the wires through, it's all open. You could do all your solder and add your resistor. Um, or if you really wanted to, you could bring wires down and you could add the resistors here on this board if you wanted to. Then you could, you know, have the resistors in without kind of that blob of LED holding wax that I used. And I might have been able to do this with super glue, 
but they're kind of tiny. I, I didn't want to mess around. I didn't want to be bending the wires because you, know, you bend them, you, you stress them, then you break something, then you're in deep doo-doo. So that's what I did. Um, I think it's going to look okay, especially over on the layout. I mean, yeah, if you look real close, you can kind of see there's a that kind of that blob around the LEDs. But, eh, you know, it kind of looks like some type of industrial... I don't know, some industrial oozing out of the top of the smokestack. <laughs> but again, it'd be a lot easier. You could do a lot more. And the next time I do it, if I do more for the uh, for the factory area, I'll do it when they're apart. You would have to be careful then when you do your painting and weathering, but you can work around that. So, All right, so that is it. Going to get it over on the layout, get everything mounted, and see how it looks flashing away over there. Alrighty, boards mounted, powered up. Got them flashing away over here. I can see I didn't get them exactly level, but eh, whatever. And yeah, the effect is pretty good. I think it'll be okay. The one from this angle, so yeah, there you go. Flashing tower warning lights with the backdrop nobody likes. So <laughs> there we go. That's it. Done. Time to move on and get some other stuff done. So, here we go. Bring it to life, baby. Bring it to life. All right. Let's get back and start doing some track work. All right. This portion is just for those that may be curious what I did. Again, I'm just going to show you what I did. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I started off with this. I got it somewhere off the Internet. I didn't like it. I mean, it's, it's right. It's just really confusing to me because they don't show the pinouts of the chip. I guess because I'm an engineer, I want to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the way the chip's laid out. So I kind of redrew it because I, I can't think that way. So this is what I did. Again, I'm not the world's best circuit drawer, so excuse me, but I'll just kind of show you what I did. So this is the circuit. Again, the chip is laid out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your plus 12, in my case, because I used 12 volts, Plus 12 comes in and goes to, to pin 8. Pin 8 jumps to pin 4. The plus 12 also goes through R1, which in my case, I use 7.5K. And then the, the other end of R1 goes down to 7. Then you go through R2, which goes to 6. R2 in my case, only because I didn't have that size resistor, I used a 7.5 in series with a 4.7. To get 12 to. You could try 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever you want to do. Knock yourself out. And then 6 jumps over to 2. Alright, so that's what kind of where the 12 volts goes. The other side, pin 1 goes to ground. Pin 2 goes through C1, the positive to the chip, to ground. And C1, in my case, is 100 microfarads. Pin 3, which is your out, that goes through R3. I used a 1K per the samples I saw. That's kind of a current limiting resistor for your LEDs. And then I went to a little terminal board. I went up to the three LEDs from Evan Designs. They're the LEDs that I, that I used. And you can use whatever you want. They're the ones I used. And again, they do have resistors in them. You can see because they're, uh, what are they, 5 to 13 volts. Oops, sorry. So they obviously have a current limiting resistor in them. It, again, it didn't seem objectionable to me because, in effect, you have R3 in series with whatever resistance is in, in the uh, the makeup of these LEDs. But it looked good. I like it. I like the brightness, and I like the, like I said, the flash rate and all that kind of stuff. All right, so the LEDs come back to the other side of this terminal board, and they go to ground. So that's the schematic. Again, I made it up on a little perf board. And R1, R2, those values give you your flash rate, the on and off time. There's formulas. I actually programmed them into Excel so I could play with the numbers and see what, what I wanted to, to try. And again, I settled on these just because I had them. But you use whatever you want to use. You want something in this range. And you can find the formulas online and make your Excel file up if you want to get to that level. But you saw the flash, right? If you liked it, you could certainly use these. 
Um, again, you might not want to put these two in series just because it takes a little bit more effort, but it's not a huge deal. All right, so that's what I did. <clears throat> that's the circuit. Again, I'm not, I don't claim to be a freaking circuit designer. I'm just kind of showing you what I did here. So that is it. I'll kind of leave it up. You can kind of look at it. Uh, I used all uh, quarter watt resistors. Again, C1. Is, uh, here's C1 just to show what it looks like. That's it. Again, I have a, I have a set of various uh, capacitors. So I just picked that out of the box and boom. And I went with it. Again, I have a whole tray full of different bins of resistors. And these are the ones I had. And I have the little, the little terminal boards that I purchased before. For doing the uh, DCC components I was making. I bought extra from DigiKey at one time. They're handy to have for soldering onto the perf boards. And the LEDs are from Evan Designs, the red nano LEDs. But again, if I did it next time, I probably would uh, not buy the 5 to 13. I might buy their 3 volt because I imagine they don't have any resistors in them. And it just might be easier to put them into the chimney, the smokestack itself. But that's for the next time. So that's it. That's the circuit. For those that are curious, that's what I did, and that's how uh, I got the lights flashing on the smokestack.